New map chimps, baby. Start with a dart right where I put it on first, and then the sniper in the top left of that little cubby on strong. Make sure auto start is off. At the end of round six, get a dart monkey, place it on that purple floaty, and put it on last. So this early game is a little bit micro heavy, not really, but there's a bit of micro, but it's worth it because it makes the end game so easy. So for round eight, you want to micro your sniper. As soon as you see your balloon, get to the top of that second bend. So right now, put your sniper to first and then leave him there for the rest of the round. Doesn't usually get as close as it did here, but you don't lose. At the end of round 8, get another sniper, and then put it on strong. At the end of round 9, put your first sniper back to strong. So now both your snipers should be on strong, and we can just save up for Geraldo no problems. As I was saying, this early game is a little bit micro related we got to put a lot of Geraldo stuff down but it's worth it because the end game is so so easy you can save up like 70k with this little setup that I'm going to have going so round 12 you don't need to do any of this you don't need to slow it down and place Geraldo you can if you want but it doesn't make a difference at the end of the game so you can do this at the end of 13 just make sure you put him down at the end of 12, make sure you put Geraldo down and two spike piles at the end of that bottom track. Before round 13, very, very important. You always leak to 13 with this setup. With those two spike piles, make sure you never lose. Fourteen, no problems. Before 15, get a sub, place it in that water where I do, and then set it to strong. You want it to be as close to that vertical track as possible. But yeah, the positioning doesn't really matter that much. 15 sometimes gets as close as it did there, but it never leaks, and it usually doesn't get that close. 16, you don't need to put those spikes there. You can if you want. If you're feeling very unlucky, you can. Just make sure that you micro your right sniper. Put it to first as soon as something gets to that second bend. And you never leak. But since we can afford the spike pile for 16, we did it. Make sure you put your sniper back to strong for 17. Before 18, glue the top left track. We're going to be abusing glue for the first like 50, 40 rounds of this run it's it's just so powerful Geraldo is so so powerful which is why I'm using him here at the end of 18 get a factory and place it in the top right corner of the yellow floaty so exactly where I do the placement isn't pixel perfect just about where I do is completely fine then hit play 19 no problems Twenty also hands free. Before twenty one, glue the top right track. And don't get long reach on your factory before twenty one. We're gonna get it after twenty one. So after twenty one, get long reach and smart spikes. And then set it to smart, obviously. Just make sure both your snipers are set to strong. They should already be. But in case they're not, make sure they're both on strong. This factory placement is kind of perfect. It's really, really good. At the end of 24, get bigger stacks on 
this factory. Before 27, give your sub some pickles and hit play. 27 always gets close, but you never ever lose. So it's very consistent in that regard. Get white hot spikes before 28 because we have leads and we can't hit those yet. Thirty more leads, but they're not a problem for this factory. Before thirty one, you want to glue the top right track and give your left sniper full metal jacket. It doesn't actually matter which sniper you give full metal jacket to. We're not upgrading the snipers any further from this point on. Like, that sniper is literally a 1-0-0 just to beat this round. Thirty-two and thirty-three, no problems at all. Totally hands-free. As soon as possible, get spiked balls during 34. I'm pretty sure you need it to beat the round, so just make sure you get it ASAP. For 35, you want to have a second glue on standby, because that first glue that's already placed on the track is going to run out halfway through the round. So as soon as you see it run out, just place the second glue, and it's a guaranteed win. We're just abusing glues because they are so good early game. Before 36, same thing. Glue, but top left this time. And then get an ALK. Place it below your spactory. Make sure you set it to strong, and then give it AMD. Setting the Alk to strong just kind of helps with breaking down some of the tougher balloons before they get to this factory. More so for that bottom path. Get Berserker Brew at the end of 36. Then Stronger Acid. And Perishing Potions during 37. Before 39, you want to glue the top right again, and then just play. I recommend auto start off for about the first 50 rounds, after which point we turn it on, because we literally can't lose. Get stronger stim during or at the end of 39, doesn't actually matter when. And the Moab goes down super easily. 40. So Geraldo's glue synergizes fantastically with the factory, especially the bottom path factory. During 41, get barb darts and twin guns on your sub. Not actually needed to beat the round, but you need it for 43, so you may as well just get it earlier. Before 43, glue the top right track and 
You don't need the nail spikes, but you can if you want. And this isn't needed either. You don't have to give your sub the pickles, but you can if you want. Doesn't really change anything. You, all you have to do is glue, but if you're feeling unlucky, use the pickles, use the nail spikes, whatever. But yeah, you will be fine for 43 with just a glue. Forty six is completely hands free. Before forty seven, give your dart a sharpening stone and a jerry fire. Just for those ceramics at the start of the round. You can't actually beat forty seven if you don't do that stuff, so do it, definitely. And yeah, forty seven goes down no problem. Jerry fire is kinda busted. During forty eight Get spiked mines as soon as possible. And assuming you do this ASAP, congratulations, you have just won chimps on water park. The moment you get spiked mines, you've officially beaten this map. It's like impossible to lose from this point on. With this strat at least. Because this, this factory just carries so hard. They buffed the bottom cross path spines in the newest update update 38 and it's it's pretty good especially on this map turn auto start on after you get spines like we're literally super busted at this point so nothing gets past the spines and then any time before round 60 get a village and place it exactly where i do top right corner of that little cubby don't worry if the snipers are not in range, try and put it as far to the right as possible and then make it 0-1-2 then get another village below it and make it 1-0-2 Don't worry about the snipers, we're not going to upgrade them like I said before After you have those double discount villages get a heli and place it on that right terrace cubby area. You don't actually need the, the heli till 61, but you may as well just get it now. Because it makes the rounds go faster. So get the heli in village range and then give it 203. So Moab shove with pursuit. And a neat little tidbit just there, if you saw Moab Shove and Jerry Fire have like an amazing synergy. Which I didn't actually realise till just then, but... Yeah, Geraldo is just completely busted. Which is why I'm using him, because this map just came out to make a guide for it. With an actual strat, it takes much longer. But with Geraldo, it's... It takes a lot less time. Get Comanche Defense during 58, and then... Buy an Alc above the heli. Make sure it's in range of the double discounts. And make the Alc a 320. So stronger stim and perishing potions. BFB stands no chance, like at all. Get stronger stim at the start of 61. Then get jungle drums on the bottom village. You don't want to swap, swap around this village placement. By the way, you want the jungle drums village to be at the bottom. And why that is will become obvious sooner in the guide. Well, later in the guide. Actually, not sooner. So after jungle drums, get radar scanner. Not that it's needed for 63, but 
we want to just get it so we can forget about it. 63 goes down, no problem. Comanche defense is really, really strong right now. Like, kind of busted, honestly. And now the setup is almost complete. We just have this one little boomer left. Put him as low as you can in that little pink circle while still being in range of that village. And then make him a 024 when you can and set him to strong. So Moab press with faster rangs in range of the jungle drums and leave him on strong. And that's it, the setup is complete. Or AFK for almost 20 rounds. Like entirely AFK, no abilities, no Gerardo Micro or anything like that. So yeah, this setup's kind of nice. This map starts off kind of difficult, but it gets quite easy once you have a decent setup like we do now. So yeah, I'll see you guys back in round 84 when we have to actually do some Geraldo stuff. Before round 84 starts, give the heli the upgraded sharpening stone. So the upgraded stone gives it plus one damage and plus one pierce. And that lets it destroy round 84. Without the stone you actually lose to 84, so it is necessary. Get Moab Dom as soon as possible in the middle of 84. Not because you need it to beat the round, but because it's super cool and just amazing. I love Moab Dom. Sadly, it's not that affordable in chimps because it kind of costs too much for most like advanced and expert maps, which is what I usually play. But on an intermediate map like this, you can do some fun stuff with some alternative towers. You know, everybody's going to do the Apache Prime perma spike combo. Like, yeah, we've seen that a million times. Use some other towers for crying out loud. So yeah, use whatever you want. You don't even have to use Moab Dom. But yeah, with this strat it makes it so, so easy that you can leave auto start on and just chill. Even in the 90s, it's very, very chill. If you like another tower more than Moab Dom, feel free to use that. Icicle Impale would work, just make sure you have a Mib or something like that. There's a lot of options, this map really isn't too difficult. But yeah, for this guy, I'm doing Moab Dom because I love Moab Dom. If that like hasn't become clear by now. Around 90, the DDTs just get completely mauled. Do not give any camo potions out quite yet. That's really, really important. That's the only thing you shouldn't do. At the end of 91, get primary training on your village, because why not? Not necessary at all, but it just makes you Moab Dom better, which is worth it. 
Not the camo potion just yet, because Geraldo isn't level 19. Instead, give your sub on the right a Jerry Fire. No, not the dart, the sub. Yes, the sub. And then the left dart and the boomer, Jerry Fire. A good tactic with Jerry Fires, for the most part, is to spread them out. If, for, for example, on this map, we know that the balloons are coming out of both sides of the map, spreading them out is a good idea, but usually you want to focus them to a certain point if you know that's where the balloons are coming out of. So, at the end of 92, Geraldo levels up, and you want to give the camo potion to the boomer and to the heli. And that's literally all you have to do. Now the Boomer can shoot DDTs, which isn't even the point, like, this camo potion for the Boomer is just more about the range, really. The Moab Dom isn't really good against DDTs because they move too fast. Give your Heli a stone at the end of 93, and then just give a random Jerry fire to anything. I gave it to the top right dart there, but you can literally give it to anything. Doesn't really matter, but the dart's the best option. 94 gets completely destroyed by Moab Dom. It's, it's so busted in chimps. I mean, it's hitting a ZOMG that's way, way, way out of its range. Before 95, Geraldo levels up, so spam more Jerry Fires on whichever towers you want. Does not matter. And then give a camo potion to your Spactory. Sounds crazy, I know, but trust me, it's a good thing to do. And then put a genie down in jungle drums range. The genie isn't even necessary at all, but I just got it because it makes the rounds go faster. If you did buy a genie, the DDTs won't even make it to the Spactory. If you didn't buy a genie, they will make it to the Spactory, but you never lose for 95, so don't worry about it. You can turn auto start on for 96 and 97, it's literally not a problem. The genie just mauls 96. Even if you didn't buy a genie, you don't need it for 96, so don't worry about it. Like I said before, as soon as you get spines, you've beaten the map. At the start of 97, get Comanche Commander. I kind of forgot for a little bit, but there you go, I just bought it. That's all there is to it. I highly, highly recommend you guys forge your own path. Do your own thing. If you don't like Moab Dom or you want to use another tower, go for it. You know, don't just use the same strategies on every single map. Do whatever you want. Spam Jerry Fires. You know, anything that I do from now on is not necessary. You can spam Jerry Fires like I do. You can give your sub a stone, even though it does like nothing. You can put a genie down, which isn't necessary either. The genie just makes the rounds go faster, which I like. And yeah, the bad comes out of the top left. Doesn't really matter, we're gonna destroy it anyway. And that's it, Moab Dom just destroys everything. Hope you enjoyed. I'm not the first to make a guide for this, but it's a bit of a different guide and I like that.